everyone i welcome to you in this video and uh, in this video uh, this is a series of uh, famous digital wireless idle questions and uh, today question is mostly asked uh, in in physical design especially if you have any project on that so this is the most basic questions like how buffers helps to reduce delay basically when we uh, after chip planning and float plan we when we are actually doing the cts and before routing okay before routing we are performing cts which is known as clock tracing thesis to estimate the real values of the delays transition and everything then we should perform these steps to reduce the delay now how this delay uh, is being reduced that is the question because whenever we add a buffer whenever we add a buffer it cause to increase in the delay always but how in physical design during the clock tree synthesis it's helping us to reduce the delay we will see in this video so let's come to this point and here i'm taking a clock which is a, at a source and here it has to be go through a flip flop as an input okay so this is a locally uh, clock distribution network so the clock is going to the local circuits now the when the clock is traveling through this clock tree it may have rc type of delays in because wires are having uh, pecs parasitic x parasitics so due to resistance and capacitances uh, this waveform might got weakened and distorted as shown here now how to deal with this to deal with this we came up with the idea that we will add a buffer at a inserted at a appropriate place so why these buffers are being added because suppose the signal is going high and over a long period it will start getting degrading due to uh, due to long distance traveling so so the signal got weak but this buffer will what do it have vdd and, and ground all buffers are powered okay so what they will do they will make a strong signal so suppose if my signal is going and it is reducing from its vdd so this buffer will uh, supply the current and it will maintain the signal so the signal will be maintained like this okay now uh, the next thing comes how buffer is actually uh, helping us to uh, reduce the delay so for that i have uh, mentioned here like take a length l so this is my delay tau is showing the delay rc l square so this is my delay so r is my resistance per unit length c is capacitance per unit length and this is l square so if i break this wire into l1 l2 l3 then t dash will be t1 t2 t3 and those sum will be like this so taking rc common i will get this but if i put l1 plus l2 plus l3 and then do the whole square then what will happen then this will happen so actually this delay will be more okay so what we can say is ki if we are breaking breaking the things and adding buffers into it will reduce the delay because you can see if i multiply rc here and rc here so this tau dash is less than tau okay so in this way it is helping uh the delay to be get reduced and it also is strengthening the signals i hope you got this point so i have mentioned the source over here from where you can study this and this is the final conclusion that dividing long clock lines into a smaller segments and adding buffers between them help the clock lines overall delay so delay is also getting reduced and my signals which was lowering from the vdd it also got strengthened thank you